Hello my friends, it's for planes again. And today, it's time for another Let's Science Starmate episode. It's been a long, long while, and I know that. And much has changed in Starmate. For example, the AMC system. And that is the focus of this episode of Let's Science Starmate. The picture you're seeing right now is one of the fruits of my research. For example, there was another fruit of our research. And you, I think you're going to see the theme. That's a finished ship. That's going to be docked on this ship here. At some point in time. And that is finished. And that is something they built for the lols with the research. That's a cloaking vessel, which I call the space boot stick. And down there, you can see my... my, my frigate. Which is the space cigar. I'm really creative with names. Well, I'll take you along with the fruits. You don't need to watch the boring as hell part of where I got, how I got there. What I basically did is, I repeated what I did in episode number one, where we started to put add, st add a few cannon blocks, write down the stats, and add a few cannon blocks, and write down the stats, until we had enough stats. And we ended up with this. We ended up with this. Yes. Whereas I then... Um, went on to that. Which is currently downloadable from... Uh, my f myfiles.com or something like that. Link is in the description. Below the video below the video and that was good enough because this damn who this the mechanic wasn't in that the more groups you have you have to pay an energy penalty or something like that so we need we redid it we repeated the steps we um, punched in a few numbers this time I tried less numbers that here were the numbers I took from the game. And that is stuff I guesstimated. It's a little bit incorrect. Some numbers are a tad too high, others are a tad too low. But it's within acceptable tolerances of 1%. Below 25 blocks, because as you can see, at 50 blocks, we are off. We are off 1.5%. So, so I thought about, hey, yeah, I had such an awesome thingy dingy already. Let's make a new one. And that is this. And I'll now walk you through how to do stuff. That thing here, as you can see, has stuff where you can put in numbers. <laughs> um, really creative. Well, this is a AMC system planner. You basically punch in your numbers in the respective fields, and you're fine. And that's what we're gonna do now. Here you can see written blocks per group, which basically means my single gun barrel group has 15 blocks. And of that, my ship has 50 barrels. And you get your stats. So your alpha damage is 97, your reload is 276 milliseconds, which is relatively pointless stat just there for cosmetic reasons. You have a DPS, you have your energy use, and a bunch of efficiency stats. Efficiency stats means damage per block, so one volumetric block, one AMC block has a DPS uh, DPS per block so let's save that one of these has a DPS per block of 23.6 so this means if so this means how much damage you have for certain amounts of Antimatter cannon weapon system volume. If you want to build a very small ship, 
with a low cross-sectional and volume area, you have to achieve a number as high as possible here. Then you have your damage per energy unit, which is important if you want to have a high DPS gun with a low energy use, which means the more efficient you are here, the longer you can fire your gun in, in a ship. It's not exactly witchcraft. <laughs> and there you have your shots per second, which is how many rounds you yeah, fire with your weapon system every second. And this also basically equates to how many, how effective you can destroy your opponent's ship when the shields are down. So, you want to have an as high number as possible here, an as high number as possible here, and an as high number as possible here, in the ideal case. But you'll later see that this is not so I so you can't basically have that. And this is lowest possible number here, and then this highest possible number here. So, let's say, for demonstration purposes, we have 1 million energy per second, which we are comfortable with using. Which is, if you're building your ship out to power cap, and you reserve about 200,000 for a thrust, which is about... Uh, 700 thrust. You can sustain 700 thrust with that. Oh, sorry, 7,000 thrust with that. 7,000 thrust around. Um, yeah, you have 1 million energy use, and I can't in any stuff here because these are formulas which are derived of the A and the B column. So we'll have to guess. So we'll put in 30 and 50 and you'll see now nah, this hasn't worked. 30 per group, the alpha damage is 138 which means this goes through everything your opponent chip can have in one shot except for plex beacons, plex glass and hardened tile. So relatively effective. The first two that it doesn't go through in one shot take two hits, the other, the hardened health takes three. Okay, so I think we are going with 85 blocks. And now that I've punched in the numbers, you can see we get a DPS of 47,500, which isn't bad, and the ability to delete 343 blocks a second on the opponent's ship if we hit all our shots. Which is relatively good. But that's not exactly the highest DPS we can get out of the ship. But for a small ship and a nimble ship, you'll, s you'll see that your DPS per use block still is really high. And therefore, you're going to have a small volume in your ship. And after that, I yeah, basically went on for about 20 or so minutes. Punching in more numbers, talking about them, and punching in more numbers, and talking about them. And because this is boring as hell, I of course don't make you watch it. And therefore, let's segue into the next topic. I am intending to continue this series. They will be, cut, be coming out new weapon systems, there's other stuff I can look at. I don't know when and what I'm going to look at. Maybe... Well... Leave comments on what you want me to take a look at, and I'll do, if that's possible. And yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more, leave a like if you think it's good, and if not, then maybe leave a dislike and tell me you don't have to leave a dislike, but you please tell me. <laughs> yeah, and other than that, I wish you a nice day. Bye bye. My name is Win4Planes and I'm very grateful that you've watched my video.